Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> this has been so requested, and I yes. apologize that it's taken us this long. We're going to check out KJ Yesuda's uh, Again. Harivar Sanam, which Harivar the Sanam. meaning of this is the following. When the temple doors of the Sabari Mala are closed, the divine song Harivar Sanam is recited. Oh. When the Ayapa devotees hear this song at the, at the sanctorium, their emotions cannot be explained. It's sort of a very emotional experience. Cool. And the Sarana Mantra will fill the entire region. And every devotee will feel Lord Ayapa's presence within them. I like and that name, Ayapa. So it's a very, so it's a very um, sort of religious experience and spiritual okay. experience. So okay. let, let's give it a watch. Let's it's embark. Based on what we've checked out with KJ Yasuda's, um, mm -hmm. This is one of his shorter compositions. Um, oh, it's only well, like oh, one five of his shorter long. performers performances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he's like eighteen. He's been singing forever. My God. Gosh. Sometimes I have a hard time. Harivara Sanam. Sanam. I love it. Vishwamohanam Aridhadhishwaram Aradhya Padukam Aridhvimardhanam Nityanarthanam Hariharatmajam Devamashrai Sharanamayyappa Swami oh, the, Sharanamayyappa The old person is sitting in the stage Sharanamayyappa Swami Sharanamayyappa Interesting must be like some sort of royalty or something. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. That's the uh, seat when, I want. What yeah, am I yeah, going to yeah. do? Uh, you know, I was going to say, I have a hard time sometimes thinking whether any of this is real <laughs> in terms of like the sounds and like the instrumentalization of this worship songs. They're so harmonious. They're yeah. so harmonic. Sometimes I question if it's even real. Like, What do you mean by that? It's like, I don't know. I feel like it's. It's like it came from like a computer or something. Like it's not human made. I don't know how to explain it. Really? I yeah. actually feel the complete opposite. I, I, I just don't know because it sounds so perfect. You know, sometimes until I see it, somebody playing the, the flute, right, the right, instrument, right, right. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I actually, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I actually feel the completely opposite way. I feel like this would probably be one of the only genres. The uh, most human genres. Yeah, in which you would presume... If, yeah, but if you were you get... to show, like, say, say, you know, the AI, all that shit, was to kill us, and 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 they were trying to prove, you know, what, what's the point of humanity? They or... could never replicate something like this in yeah, terms cause... of like creating it from scratch. Yeah, and like and like what this piece would mean to everyone, you know, it it, it has to be sung by a person. Yeah, you know, yeah. come worship some AI god. Yeah, <laughs> correct. You know what I mean? Yes. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I, I feel like this genre would be the best example of like the most humane uh, form. Pranayasatyakam <laughs> For the 
sake of spirituality, connecting, yeah. worshipping, yes. And he's quite delicate in everything. The interesting thing is like the best way to describe I feel the way he sings. What I feel in um, with KJ Yesudas is that especially in these type of pieces, it feels like when he's narrating the lyrics, when he's singing the lyrics, um, it, it feels like he has such a level of delicacy um, and respect for the piece. It feels like as if it was, I don't know, painting a very delicate uh, uh, a canvas or, or, or walking in a, in a garden of very delicate flowers. And he, he wants to be very careful in every step he takes. Every, everything has a lot of purpose but he has a lot of delicacy, most of all. I would agree with that 100%. I also feel there's an, a, a lot of like inner peace that you, I think we were talking about that in in a, a Jagged Sings video where he's like singing amongst all, all these other legends in the restaurant, right? Like, um, in that particular video, I talked about the stillness of the, of the singer, right? Or like how you find that inner peace, that inner stillness. And in this particular performance, even though this is a much more polluted uh, environment because it's a performance per se, like there's a stage, there is a set number of bars that you have to cover, there is a performance aspect of it, people are watching. Um, there's also, and he's also reading, which is phenomenal. Um, you have to still maintain that inner peace. You have to find it somehow. And, and in this polluted environment, in terms of like, this is not where you would naturally sing this worshipful songs, right? This is not the environment where you would find yourself full on worshiping because usually they're done at the temple, right? Yeah, but I, w I, so, would, pre I would presume now in India, <clears throat> I think, yeah, this is probably also where you would sing this type of songs as well. Cor yeah, fair enough. But what I'm trying to say is that the, it's not the natural environment. It's not the natural inclination for the song either. True. So you have to fight against those elements in order to find that stillness. And he's doing such a brilliant job of maintaining the subtlety of the song and still conveying such a sweetness to it all. <laughs> person in the background was holding a flip phone? Is this that old? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Nice. Yay, yeah, my favorite piece. I mean, the level of stillness in order to do this. That's awesome. And still add those flourishes so well. And it's insane. Because it's a very cyclical song per se. I mean, it is essentially quite, it's a mantra. It's, a, um, it's, a, it's a form of praying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But it goes something a, a little like this. One who is seated in a supreme sing hasana. One who enchants the universe. One whose holy feet is worshipped by Surya. Hari Dadishvara is Surya presume a god one who kills enemies of good deeds one who always dances the cosmic dance beautiful oh hari haraputra deva 
I know the word Deva from, oh, Deva, Deva. Um, son of Hari and Hara, I take refuge in thee. Um, it then continues, one whose mind gladdens on hearing the Sharana Kosham, one who is the great ruler of the universe, one who loves to dance, one who shines like the rising sun, one who is the master of all beings. I take refuge in thee. It is like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very similar. You know, we grew up uh, Catholic um, and you would have the sort of like uh, songs, right? That would try to describe, especially when we were children, you know, mm -hmm. you would sing these songs uh, that, that would describe, you know, the Catholic God um, in a manner which is like super understandable for kids. But it, it would be like that. Obviously, this is a bit advanced in terms of the, the, the you know, the lyricism. I um, love that. I love that analogy of like the one that dances. The cosmic the dance. The cosmic that. dance. That's yeah. beautiful. Also, I feel like this song now paying a little bit of attention to, to the lyricism, but very superficial in a way. Um, it kind of feels like the sunrise. Right. It feels it feels gentle but energetic at the same time. Like something is igniting really gently. Well, if they do play it out the, of the darkness at, at the door closing of the temple, maybe it's it, at 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 uh, twilight, like when the sun's going down. Sunset. Yeah. So it like with with the, the end of the day. The end of the day. Some like some of that remaining energy also goes. Right. Okay. Nice. Um, nice. One who is darling of his dear most soul, son of Lord Sasta. One who grants all the wishes of the devotees. I do apologize if a lot of things will go over our heads. We are learning as we go. One who shines with a divine glow. One who is the very abode of Om Pranavan. One who loves songs. I take refuge in thee. And this bit here of O Hari Haraputra Deva. It's, it, it keeps repeating all the time. Um, it's more like probably the most ma mantra-like part of the song. Okay. Um, one who rides a horse, mm -hmm. who has a beautiful face, one who has the divide, divine mace as his weapon, one who is described by the Vedhas, one who bestows the grace like a teacher, one who loves songs. O Hari Haraputra, uh, Deva, I take refuge in thee. That's that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. This is a god of music. It's a god of. Well, that's what, I've been, that's what I've been saying about... It's the best way to describe that's it. That's what I've been saying about the Indian music industry. It's like it's way deeper than that because culturally and religiously, music is so intertwined with every core belief that correct, correct. India as a whole has. Uh, so what other way to worship the a god that loves music, a god of music, a god yes, of dance? Yes, it's like a god of music, essentially, because yes. music is, is, is... I don't know. It's, it's like the core cosmic. heartbeat. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, fabulous. One, this is so beautiful. That's why I feel uh, India has such a relationship with music. It's so so much deeper than sort of our eyes can can tell. One who is worshipped by three worlds, by the three worlds. Who is the soul of all divine beings? One who is the three-eyed Lord. One who is worshipped by Devas. Um, fucking all I'm thinking is Brahmastra. <laughs> yeah. Got them that movie. <laughs> one who grants all the desires. I take refuge in thee. One who destroys of birth and death. One who grants and brings the prosperity. One who destroys fear of oh, birth Oh, one who destroys fear of birth and death. I wonder why they have to put that in brackets. Because maybe, maybe perhaps it's like it's it's assumed, it's in, presumed in the, yeah, yeah. In the lyricism in, in the native language. Who grants, bring, who's, who grants brings prosperity to the devotees like a father. One who is enchanter of the entire universe. That's a nice way to put it as well, the enchanter. One who is adorned by the holy ash as ornament. One who rides on a on a divine white elephant. Elephant, I, I take, take refuge, refuge in thee. Maybe that's similar to like, what what was that? Uh, Malayali, or oh, Malayali um, festival? Three sword. Oh, the yes. is that perhaps <laughs> the relationship? Because elephant is like a it's like a it's like a is a divine divine animal animal yeah one who has an enchanting smile who has a beautiful face one who has an enchanting soft pretty form one who has elephant lion and horse as his vahanas o hari haraputra deva i take refuge in thee it's so mental right like all of a sudden so many more things start to 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 Makes make sense, sense because his delicacy to the song would obviously make sense once you know the lyricism behind the song. It is meant to be delicate because it is like a, it's not only worship but also. It's uh, a it's admiring. 
the 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 beauty, the mercy of this God. Yeah. It's such a gorgeous way. Also, it's so it's described in such a loving, loving, gentle manner too, which is is a is a God that doesn't punish. Is mm. a God that is the enchanter of the universe. Well, it's like interesting how, as well because he's also a warrior. Or it is also a word. I don't know how would you qualify God. Yeah, he, that's a very good point. I, I don't, don't know. know either. Um, but yeah, so it's also a warrior. So it's very, very interesting itself. Um, and anyways, let let us know <laughs> what you guys thought about it. Um, obviously, these videos are, I I don't know how how fun they are to watch. It seems you guys enjoy them. For us, it's more like a discovery process because musically speaking, it's very cyclical. Again, it's very mantra like. Um, there are a few complexities. Especially, mostly even KJ Yasuda's part, vocally speaking. Uh, the time signatures are weird, I think, in the start. Um, but they're hard to catch, but once you've got gotten the rhythm the entries, of it, yeah. yeah. Once you get the entry, right, I think you will be okay. Obviously, the bells help a lot because they actually mark the tempo, the tala. Um, but apart from that, let us know what you guys thought about yeah. it. Plenty and feel more songs, free, I'm sure. feel free to explain to us how this all works and what else we should check out next. <laughs>